Hey, what would you say about moving your wedding photo from the bedroom to the living room? What? It's just, it's the first thing I see when I wake up and, you know, when I go to sleep and sometimes when we're, you know. My mom can't get a hold of my dad. Now I have to play GPS. Thanks for validating my feelings, Travis. What? It's fine. I'll just continue making eye contact with your dead husband every time we have sex. It's great. I love it. I mean, he's just going to leave us behind. After everything, just leave us in the dust. I mean, I never said we couldn't move the picture frame. What? Just Emmett this morning freaked out on me for no reason. I'm sure it wasn't for no reason. My wife is mind blowing in bed. What? What? Did I say that out loud? I thought I just thought it. I'm sorry. So, he said, great. I'll just stare into your dead husband's eyes while we have sex. Oh. I mean, that's, that's pretty much out of nowhere. Is it? Or were you just not listening? Because you know you're not always great at listening. What are you talking about? I listen. You listen when you're not obsessing about something. False. OK, what was I venting about before you changed the subject? Okay, look, my family is imploding, all right? And I'm the only one trying to maintain any sort of semblance Travis, of- Travis, Travis, what, your family's imploding so you're the only one whose thoughts and feelings matter? <sighs> you know, my family's imploding too. Our family, 19. It's not exactly the same. Oh. oh. Hey, uh, uh... One of the perks of loving a firefighter. Yeah, totally. Uh, hey, is, is Travis around? They're all out. Oh. Saving the city. Okay, um... Actually, I think this might be the only perk of loving a firefighter because the rest of it is... It's a little bit of torture every day? Yes, torture and terror. I... I'm scared. Just a little bit, all the time. Me too. And, and, and when they go out on calls... I... Oh, that's, that's way worse. Oh, you're scared too. It's not just me. You just got scared when I told you they were out. Oh, yeah, my stomach dropped. <laughs> mm. But just a little bit, you know, because I know how good they are, I, I know how hard they work, and I know that they somehow managed to take it totally seriously and not seriously at the same time. At all. Somehow. Yeah. And I know how much they love it. So I'm a little bit scared all the time. But. I try not to let him know. Hmm. Same. Oh, they, they, they need me at the scene. There's a pregnant woman and a traffic jam. Yeah, I'll, I'll come with you. But we're going to have to run, so oh, it's a good thing you didn't finish your workout. Yeah. <laughs> what happened to Vic? I got electrocuted. What happens? You got... What? How can I help? You came. It's nice you came. It's nice he came, Travis. I thought you might need the extra hand, so. Mm-hmm. Damn it. Yeah. I'm gonna move the picture. Yeah, Travis, that's pretty. That's like a coward's way of saying I love Vic. You. Look, I almost died, and I could still die, and I don't have to edit. So if you love someone, you just tell them. You tell them. You don't. You don't kick them out and then save their life and then move away. You tell them. Okay. Tell them. Is she high? Tell them. A little morphine. Okay, well, she's got electrocuted. What is she still doing here? We're waiting on an aid mm. car. There are two about a block away stuck in gridlock. Okay, yeah, I love you. Will you help me carry her? Yeah, mm. I love you too. Mm. That's nice. Hey, I need hands. I need a leg in here. All right, Victoria. Mm. Your chariot awaits. Okay. On three. One, two, three. Mm. <laughs> 